Sometimes when you don't know where you're going, the best thing to do is go there. A wise man once stated that an object at rest stays at rest. And while his rationale was a little different than mine, I'm gonna borrow from his premise. Right, because when you move, even if you don't know where you're going, you put yourself on a collision course with something. You put into existence an entity to react to. Some call it destiny. Others call it fate. I call it simply initiative. Because if your journey is hypothetical, you have nothing to celebrate nor correct. A sailboat can adjust its sails once it leaves the harbor, right? It can learn from and manipulate its surroundings, make sure it arrives at a destination, right? It learns and adapts along the way. But from the harbor, it speculates. It expounds upon a path that might be straighter, might be faster, might be more thought out and tied together than the crazy sailors who took off for the horizon, but in actuality, it goes nowhere. In the real world, it is stagnant. And I could be wrong, but I'd make the argument 10 out of 10 times that the real world is where we want our results. And my proof? Well, a journey that started uh, with insurance and evolved into music and songwriting and audio production then video production then creative writing, then a sweet spot that kind of combined everything. A spot that didn't make its way to my inbox with an exact address. A spot that required a lot of failure and lessons learned and disappointment, but man, more than that, so much fun. Right, my proof is sitting down right now, in real time, letting my fingers create a bridge from nothing to something of value. By the way, after sitting here staring at a blank screen for hours, it's just starting. Could I be wrong? Could I screw up? Could I wildly miss the mark? Yes. In fact, it happens more than I'd like to admit. But here's the beauty, even if I am wrong, I now have something to work with. Something has been brought into existence. And well, that means I'm officially further along than I once was. And I've heard over and over again that there is no perfect moment, that you have to just go. And the idea, I mean, it makes sense. It's impossible not to understand, but it's one of those things that until you feel it, doesn't mean anything. How can you miss something you've never experienced? Well, to put it in a way that helped me understand, you aren't going because, eh, what do you have to lose? You're going because everything is to be gained. The answers that you pick up along the way, like the little coins you pick up in Super Mario, right? You have to start collecting pieces of a puzzle that you can then arrange. I truly believe that one of the most important ideas we need to hold on to moving forward is personal agency, self-belief. And I say that because I, I feel like I'm watching it slip. There are cases where we literally don't know or understand that it's within our own ability and control to change our lives. No person or group or letter in the mail is going to come along and green light your idea. In fact, you might not even really know what your idea means or how it will look. And that's not only okay, it's amazing. It's the marble that you get to chisel away at to create something. See, life is not the, the perfect execution of a plan. Life is the courage to make your way into a world that no one really understands or knows anything about. I'm not talking physics or biology or quantum mechanics. I'm talking about the real life that is emergent from those areas of study, right? There is no perfect formula for happiness. 
But it will always be true that immobility or standing still is antithetical to progress. And there is plenty of data that supports the idea progress equals happiness. We want to move towards something. So that's what this is about, right? Here's to not being scared of what we don't know. Because somewhere in the realm of what we don't know exists what we need most. So yeah, stop waiting for the perfect moment. And yes, begin. But not because it's an ultimatum. Do it because the things that make life fun and intriguing and exciting and ultimately worthwhile, they live on the other side of your front door.